Brooke Burke is sharing some unfiltered opinions about dancing with the divas. Uh, we mean stars. The 50-year-old actress got candid about her experience competing and hosting the hit reality competition during a recent appearance on Behind the Velvet Rope podcast. And when asked her opinion on how Tiger Bangs is doing as a series new host, the fitness guru confessed that she just doesn't think the model is a good match for the gig. You know, she's a diva. Everybody knows she's a diva. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about her. Be a diva. It's not the place to be a diva. Brooke, who won the mirror ball during season seven of the show before she went on to host Dancing with the Stars for eight seasons, noted Tyra replacing Tom Bergen and Aaron Andrews was just, quote, a tough transition for both viewers and the cast. You know, your pros are the diva, your winner, your perfect 10 score dancer who's never done it. That defines diva in the ballroom. So, you know, I just think it wasn't embraced. Um, and, you know, I, I think that show requires a lot of compassion and loving kindness, especially as the host. So, um, you know, I don't really need to say it. You know, I mean, I think it's, it's it was a tough transition. Change is hard, it's hard for everyone. You know, they've gone through a lot on that show. Tyra joined Dancing with the Stars back in 2020, and she had her fair shares of ups and downs, including announcing the wrong bottom two couples on live TV during season 29. But at the end of her first season hosting, she told Access Hollywood how the experience went above and beyond all her expectations. Okay, so this is obviously your first season. In what way did this show and this season just defy all your expectations? Oh my gosh, the show was way more glamorous, you know, than, than, I, than I thought. So coming on as a um, host and as an executive producer, I, you know, I, I was like, you know, I want to make sure that we can like be super relevant, which is what um, Andrew Linares says, uh, EP, and, and that we can bring the glamour. And, but I, I didn't think that we would take it to this level, and that the entire team would join hands and say, we're going to elevate this thing. And so that for me, and seeing what the team did, even without my leadership, just them naturally doing it, was, was, was a beautiful shock to me. It's, it's just such an emotional journey for everyone. What would you say was the most emotional moment of the season for you? Uh, one of the most emotional moments of the season for me would be um, when Jeannie Mai could not make it to continue. And I don't know why, but I just had a really emotional reaction to that. I think with COVID going on and just seeing images of hospital, even though Jeannie did, did, did not and does not have COVID, she, you know, she had a, a throat issue. Um, it just brought up all this stuff for me that the world is going through that I, that I can't even hardly talk to her in the hallway because of COVID, you know, precautions. And I can only say hi from afar and then seeing her so vulnerable. That, that for me was my most challenging time and I couldn't hide it. It was live TV.